All right, so I am doing a first impressions kind of review style on a company that is on Etsy. And uh, <clears throat> it's called Hang Tight. They deal with uh, hammock gear stuff. So he gets, you know, he'll, he makes under quilts and top quilts for hammocks. And from my knowledge, I know that these top quilts and under quilts are Costco quilts, which are about 20 bucks. You know, if you have a Costco membership, you can go to Costco and buy it. You know, they only, I think, I do believe they only come out at a, you know, a certain time of the year. So I know that these are made out of Costco quilts. I got the beginner set, which is, you know, an under quilt, which is a three-fourths under quilt and a top quilt. Uh, so like I said, this is going to be my first impressions, you know, unboxing it, you know, seeing how good the quality is, uh, you know, the craftsmanship, which, you know, I, I thought about buying, you know, the Costco quilts myself and doing it myself, but I, you know, I don't know how to sew. I don't know how to do any of that stuff. And I saw his, uh, you know, his website on Etsy, so I figured I'd give it a shot. And uh, I weighed the box earlier, you know, just the box because I haven't opened it yet. The box itself was two pounds, 11 ounces. Uh, the color I got was silver for the under quilt and top quilt. And uh, yeah, so <clears throat> let's see, uh, let's see. I would use a knife, but since I know it's a, you know, what's in here, I'm not going to, I don't want to stab it, so I'd rather use a key. But uh, this is supposedly the top quilts from Costco, and you know, obviously he says the same thing, is uh, 700 fill down. I'm not sure where, what kind of down, uh, you know, where it's sourced from, you know, where Costco gets it from. Um, what else? I don't know the weights of everything. Like I said, I will make a, I'll make another video, like an actual review of, you know, when I sleep in it. You know, I'll show it on the hammock and stuff like that, and you know, give me some time to actually review it, like just to let you know if it's worth it. I mean, altogether, I paid for this set was $154 plus like $11 in shipping, you know, which came up to like what, 160 something. <clears throat> so I personally think it's, you know, it's. You know, it's worth the price, you know, because if you get any other quilts from other places, you know, you're going to be spending more than that. Um, this is, I believe, like a summer set. It is rated, you know, the, the comfort rating is about 40 to 50 degrees. Um, I know he has other quilts that, you know, are, that will get you down lower. But I figured, you know, I am just getting into hammock camping, you know, and I wanted to make sure that this was, uh, I just want to check it out. So this was... The first thing I bought. So, but let's see. Oh, the packaging is actually really nice. Like I said, I opted for the silver. I like the feel. Uh, you can get a sticker. Now these are called Hot Foot, which I don't know why. Um, I did ask him a couple questions before buying this. You know, like the color, he I wanted to know what the color of the silver was because at the time that was all that was left. And he was quick, you know, and he sent me a message back and he showed me a picture. Um, he's very quick to, you know, message back and, you know, so that was a plus. It's super light. Like I said, I did weigh the box itself, put these in there, and it came up to uh, 2 pounds, 11 ounces. I do like, he has nice packaging. So you do get, let's see, he tells you how to take care of the hammock, you know, on the card. You do get a sticker. I do like their logo. The logo is pretty cool. It's the, you know, hang tight. That's pretty cool. So this one, I do like the feeling of this. Oh, shit. So this is the top quilt, which is, you can see maybe some of the stuff floating out. Now, like I said, he does make uh, these uh, uh, Costco quilts. Um, there is down in there, obviously, you know, not a lot. It's a Costco quilt. But uh, I know when you get a Costco quilt, you know, they're usually little squares. You know, when you get them, they have the diamond shaped. And he, you know, obviously takes the time and, you know, he, he takes it to make bigger baffles. 
<clears throat> and you get the hot foot logo and then you get his logo on there he does put that on here I do believe because you know you're obviously gonna be having a lot of a strain you know if you're moving at night in your hammock it's got a pretty decent size uh, foot box which I'm quite impressed with oh so he does now, like I said, it's 700 down fill, which, you know, which isn't a whole lot. It's not going to get you down to, you know, 20 degrees. But, like I said, I just wanted, you know, to test out his uh, workmanship and how good everything is. And, I mean, he, from what I can see, I mean, it's thin. But that's what you get, you know, if you want something, you know, that's going to be a lot more filling with, uh, you know, down, then you're obviously going to have to go somewhere else. You know, he does make, uh, the next one I actually want to get, it's, uh, can't remember the name of it, but it's, you know, it's rated lower, and I do believe he sews on, like, two, you know, two of the Costco quilts. And, uh, the Heat Seeker, that's one I, I, I'm starting to really see people getting, and, you know, that's only... The set you get a set of them which is only a little bit more the one i've been looking at the next one i actually think I, after i test these if i like them and like i said these aren't going to get you down extremely low you know these are more for summer and you know warmer weathers which is fine now the, the foot box actually has quite a bit of you know it puffs up really nice so i feel like your feet that maybe that's why he calls it hot foot you know your feet are gonna i feel like you know you'll be warm in that you know, as you go up, you, I mean, it puffs up pretty good until you get up to the top. The top part here is lacking a little bit, the sides and everything. Maybe you gotta shake it and let it go for a little bit. Seem pretty good. Um, sewing's pretty good, you know, and I don't know what that's called when you take the, you know, the stitching out, but he did a really good job at that. You can see where the stitching was. I doubt that you'll see it in the camera. But, uh, maybe I'll get a view here in a little bit to show you. Uh, but, like I said, uh, here in a couple days, I'll actually go test it out. You know, because I want to go camping. But, uh, I mean, everything here looks really good. I do like the colors. I do like that darker color. That would have been a nice color to keep on the outside. But the silver on the inside is, or the outside is pretty nice. But, that's not bad. Let's see. Now this must be the under quilt, obviously, because that was the top quilt that you saw. Now here's the stuff sack. They do come with stuff sacks. I think, if I do believe right, they both should fit in the stuff sacks. Because this one, I didn't see one. So, oh, nope, I lied. Came with two. So you do get, you do get <clears throat> two stuff sacks. So these are actually, you know, I do believe these are actually what the Costco quilts come in when you, when you order them. So that's nice that he included those. Let's see. This is the under quilt, and the under quilt feels a lot nicer. I'm already like just laying on me like this is I'm already sweating, you know, and obviously today it's, you know, I live in Colorado Springs, so today it's, you know, it's only 1222 here, and it feels like probably in the 50s or 60s here, but this is, you know, just putting this under me now, I'm, my legs are sweating, so, but this is three, you know, three-fourths under a quilt, does a really good job of sewing, quality he does a good job sewing I like that I don't see anything wrong with it the sewing is straight it's even you know I li like I said I do I really like his logo I like that he adds that it's a nice touch so but that's uh, let's see if I can get that a picture you know that's his that's his logo so that's a pretty nice uh pretty nice 
but this is you know three fourths hammock under quilt so it's not going to cover you up you know all the way it will get to you know probably cover from my back of my starting my shoulders probably down to my I'm not really tall so probably down to my ankles you know I'm I'm probably like five nine five eight so I'm not very tall but uh like I said this this uh is really just a first impressions kind of video now these these have a nice like these mm, has a nice feel to it like it's it puffs up, it gives you, you, know, you have quite a bit of down in here, which I feel like this will you know, give you some, some warmth underneath you in the summer. You know, so that's nice. Now, like I said, my impressions of this so far, this is nice. I do enjoy this, I do like this, but I do feel like this top part here is lacking. There's like nothing in there. Now everything kind of fell here to the sides. You know, so I've had to play with this for a while and let it air out and you know, shake everything down. You know, but, I mean, otherwise, my first impressions of this, you know, for what it is, it's actually quite nice. You know, the, the foot box is where it's at. That's where it's got most of the, you know, down. And he does, like, his, he does a very good job of sewing. Like I said, I wanted to do this with a, you know, uh, a quilt from Costco or somewhere else, but I don't have the skill set to do that. I'm not very, you know, I guess thrifty and stuff like that when it comes to this. Um, but other than that, I mean, he does. This is a pretty nice sewing job. Yep, well, let's see. There is a little grief there I mean ugh. like I said this is just some first impressions I don't like lying but I don't know if you can see it you know there's there's a you know string I don't want to pull it because I don't want to compromise this you know, but you know other than that I mean everything is it's pretty nice this flip, this flip box is worth I feel like it's got the most stuff most down but, uh, I don't know, like I said, um, I will make another video on this, you know, when I go up. Because right now, um, so far on this, I feel like everything here in the middle is pretty shallow. There is no down. Like I said, I, I feel like I'm going to have to, you know, shake it around, let it play with it for a while. Get, you know, get to where it needs to be. Now, I know you do add-ons. You can make it to your own, to where whatever you want it to be. So my thing is, is, you know, I wish he would set like, uh, you know, some like little tabs here, you know, something to where you can, you know, you can hang it up, you know, because obviously you don't want to keep it compressed. I mean, something this small might not, you know, cause a problem, but I know if you do, if you hang it up, it will last a lot longer. And I guess you could just hang it up on a hammock or on a hanger, but I still think like just adding himself like a little touch here would have been nice. You know, because, you know, I know he would charge you for that, which is fine. You know, he's got to make his money. But other than that, I think, you know, I think he did a really good job. You know, like I said, I couldn't have done this. I'm not thrifty. I can't sew. You know, so for me, I love stuff that is made. I love that people, you know, can do this stuff. I'd rather buy that than, you know, going to a store and, you know, getting something that is pre-made at a factory. You know, I'd rather them, you know, handmade or, you know, do what they do like this, where they make it kind of their own. And, you know, I'm quite impressed with this. And, uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that for now. But uh, if you have any questions, ask. If you want another video, you know, like I said, I'll, uh, I'm will i going to make another video, another re an actual re review, re review of, you know, actually using it and letting you know how that goes and showing you what showing you it on the hammock and it with you, with it on me and you know we'll go from there but other than that i uh i don't know it's pretty nice like i said i don't have any gripes so far besides this you know this string like i said i don't i don't want to pull it but other than that i'm quite pleased 
I think the best thing so far is this underquilt has, you know, the baffles are nice on it. You know, it, it puffs out the way you want it to. You know, the down isn't, you know, shot all just in the corner. The down feels pretty even everywhere. Um, I mean, for what it is, for that it was an underquilt, I am quite impressed with this. You know, that, you know, Costco quilt. You know, I haven't been to Costco in a couple of years, and I don't remember these, but I know people always saying that they're really good, that they were a decent, you know, quilt, they're pretty cheap, you know, for 20 bucks, you know, and I I think what he's doing here is, is pretty awesome. You know, like I said, I, I'm not thrifty, so to see this, the quality that he does and that he puts out, it's quite nice. So I... I have no complaints on this. The underquilt to me is, you know, 10 out of 10, just from the first impressions. You know, that to me is pretty damn amazing. And then, like I said, this right now is, is kind of lacking. There's, there's, it's not really, there's not a lot of down, but like I said, I think over time, you know, shaking it out, letting the down get to, you know, the middle. Because right now the middle to me doesn't really have anything. So like I said, I will play with it here within a couple hours, you know, well, pretty much a couple days because here I think today is Thursday. So I think Friday or Saturday, I'm gonna go out and, you know, actually field test this and give it a go. Uh, this, this, <laughs> this video is rambling. But uh, I don't know, I, I personally think that, you know, the sewing, sewing job that he did on here is really nice. Like. I don't know, just, he has a Facebook. You guys should check him out on Facebook. You know, if you have questions, you know, reach out on, on Facebook to him or, you know, on his Etsy store. His Facebook is, you know, hang tight, you know. It's, uh, here, maybe I can find the logo. You know, look him up on Facebook. You know, I'm not getting paid for this, obviously. And I think, you know, this guy did an amazing job. I am... You know, the more I play with this, the more that this is getting filled in here. And, you know, it is puffing up the way you want it to. And just laying it on me like that, I'm I'm already sweating. And it's hot here today in Colorado. You know, so this, I think, for nighttime temperatures would, would be perfect. I'm a hot sleeper, I think that's what you'd call it. So, like, I like colder weather anyways. So, I don't want, like, you know, I sweat when I sleep. So, I think this... You know, will keep me to the comfort rating that I want, to where I'm comfortable and I'm not too hot. You know, and if this performs the way I, I, I believe it's going to, I uh, I honestly see myself getting you know his heat seeker set. He has the one I really want is uh, the special edition heat seeker that that orange and silver. Man, that looks beautiful. But uh, like I said. Here in a couple of days or like a week or so, expect a, you know an actual full review of you know me testing it out and letting you actually know how uh, everything is going. But otherwise, I give first impressions. I give the sewing, you know, ten out of ten. Except for you know, what's that? You know that little thing. But you know, you can't expect everything to be perfect. So with that little that little piece hanging off, I still give this a ten out of ten. So the Top quilt, I give 10 out of 10. And it seems like it will fit me, like it will be long enough to you know, be comfortable. The under quilt, I definitely give that, like right off the bat, I give that 10 out of 10. You know, it puffs up the way you want it. You know, it fills, I mean, it fills up and it, I'm sweating like just already, like I'm, I'm burning up. That's, man, I'm quite impressed with this company. But uh, yeah, if you guys wanna, you know, look at more of his stuff it's uh hang tight on facebook or Etsy, and uh i guess i could show it being stuffed in the stuff stack let's see how good i am at this so, let's see but other the thing is is i like i am not like a hiker hiker so i don't like hike the places in the camp uh, I do a couple times, but, you know, I, you know, I usually just do a day bag and, you know, my, all my hammock stuff and my cooking set, you know, with cooking canister and like, uh, you know, 
everything fits in this day bag. So this will be perfect, and I know it will fit into the day bag, and will probably, you know, I'll probably upgrade my my backpack, you know, because I wouldn't mind to do more like actual day hikes or like a night hike in and then a night hike out to camp somewhere. Probably more of just to drive somewhere, you know, find a nice spot up in the mountains by the river or you know by a lake and. and you know, set up for the night. But let's see. Yeah. I'm trying to be easy on this because I don't want to break it, but then it's the quality on here is I don't think it's gonna break, so I'm just gonna be rough and try to stuff it in there. Let's see. Uh, how small it is. I mean, there's toilet paper. So it's it's about. I don't want to. Yeah, gonna say two two things on toilet paper. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm obviously not a reviewer reviewer, but I think uh, I think what he has, what Hang Tight has, is is a good thing going. This is if you want to start beginning getting into hammock camping and you don't know what to you know get, I would go for this company. Like I said, I just went for the beginner set. You know, it was the cheapest one on there for the sets, you know, because you get two things. And, uh, you know, the next one I get, if when I test this out and if I enjoy it, it's going to be the Heat Seeker set or the Special Edition Heat Seeker. But uh, I think this is, to me, this, I think, is, is awesome. It's small, it's lightweight. I want to say, obviously, you know, two pounds, 11 ounces when I, you know, did the whole, when I did the box and everything in there. So I'm gonna say these are probably a pound each, and it's not heavy at all. So I, I quite enjoy this. So if you guys like the video, let me know if you want to know questions or if you want me to make an actual like another video on this within a couple of days of before I go out and uh, test it. Let me know. You know if you guys have any questions, ask me because I will be using it on my bed. You know I will just be testing it at nighttime on my bed as well. So. I know you can use the top quilt for, you know, tent camping too, so, and he does make a, a ground set where, you know, it, it hangs onto your, it clips onto your uh, air pad or whatever you want to call that, so, I don't know, I'll give you guys uh, another video in a couple of days or a week of me actually testing it out, you know, I'll go out because I know here Friday or Saturday, you know, 2020 is supposed to be... Uh, actually, you know, in the 40s or 50s, and that's what this is rated to, about 45 to 50, I do believe, if I remember correctly. But like I said, as first impressions of this, I, I love the color. I think he did a really good job of taking out, you know, the stitching. Um, I guess I could show you that. Let's see. All right, so like I said, uh, the stitching on here is, you know, he does a, a pretty superb job. Sorry about the lighting. Let's see if I can fix that. But, uh, I mean, he does a, he does a fairly good job. And you see right here, maybe, right there is where he, you know, so these were like little squares, you know, that the quilt came in originally. And then, he, you know, he takes the time and, you know, takes all those out. So this whole thing would have been just little squares, little diamond shapes. And uh, I think he did like a really good job. I am, I am pleased with his, with his work, you know, and maybe some people might not justify, you know, that this is a hundred and, you know, $54 and then, you know, shipping tax. But I mean, you're going to pay double that with any other company, you know, for probably the same thing, you know, and he does take the time to, you know, take out these stitchings you know to make it what it is so i'd like to you know give it a try and test it out even if it's not you know what it, if, if i don't like it i'm still gonna like it for the simple fact that if i go camping i could you know i could take this around you know on a cold night and, and at least keep myself somewhat warm you know by the fire or something and you know obviously don't get too close but I really think this is a good deal for what it is. 
like I said, uh, you know, this is, you know, comes out small. Man, I like that. I just, I, my first impressions, I'm giving everything a 10. You know, the packing, you know, he does his own little, you know, hot foot. I am going to ask him what that means. I'm thinking it's because, you know, your foot box is a lot more, it feels like there's more in it. And obviously, you know, sorry, I'm using one hand, guys. But, uh, I mean, he obviously, I think he does, you know, he adds another thing in there. So that's, that's a bonus part. You know, I'm glad he does that. You know? So with that being said, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask.